Hi, this is Vinny Tartamella. I'm a former lead designer for McFarlane Toys, Diamond Select, uh, Toy Biz. I'm also a comic book creator, and all the books you see here are from my company, Mella Art World. Please stay tuned for the end of the video and find out how to get these great books. So today I have the companion piece for the um, Soundwave figure. Uh, this is Blaster from the Kingdom line. Uh, he also comes with uh, the character called Eject, which is uh, his cassette player. And uh, yeah, this, so this is the Autobot version of uh, Soundwave for those unfamiliar with Transformers. Um, but yeah, this is a pretty cool figure. The packaging is pretty nice. Again, the... Um, the way that they've been doing the Kingdom line, like, they have nice artwork on it. I just want that window to be bigger so you could see more of the figure. Because uh, that's the one thing I think that's hurting this line. And it looks like um, Hasbro and a few other companies are starting to go down this direction of um, giving you, like, really small windows. And they're even starting to remove that plastic, that clear plastic that's over the front of the figure. I don't know why they're doing that. It kind of makes no sense. But yeah, it is what it is. So here is Blaster standing straight up and down out of the box. I did put his, uh, well, his Blaster in his hand. <laughs> and uh, yeah, just to give you a good look at the figure. Uh, and again, most of the figures in this line, they do have a, a fantastic aesthetic that's very uh, similar to the G1 style. Um, and that's, I think, one of the major reasons why, this, why these lines are, are flying off the shelves. The Siege line the Earthrise, and now the Kingdom line, because um, they're, they're getting more accurate to what us collectors are, are actually looking for, you know, proper um, looking characters that are, you know, similar to the cartoon and what we grew up with, but, you know, with today's technology, you get better articulation, uh, beautiful transformations, so uh, yeah, this, this line is a win all around, and uh, yeah, I, I, again, this character was always cool looking, so uh, I hope you guys dig this review. And much like Soundwave, he has a gimmick where you press the button below and, uh, you know, you could eject the cassette. So, uh, yeah, here is, well, his name is Eject. And, um, yeah, I'd, uh, yeah, it is what it is. But uh, they gave him clear uh, kind of parts, which is interesting because, you know, the character is usually solid looking. But uh, I thought it was pretty nice. So, uh, yeah, I want to show you guys that. And yeah, here's a better look at the figure all around as well. Uh, great detail. Um, the sculpting that they did on this. The little knobs and, and everything. And we'll, we'll see that later in the review as well when he's transformed. But um, yeah, he's a really beautiful looking figure. Paint applications are very, very clean on him. Uh, there's not a ton of them, but what's there looks very good. You know, articulation. He's got a ball joint there, so you get some good movement. Arms go all the way around. Go all the way up. Um, he's got swivel. Um, he's got uh, a good bend there for the elbow. Um, his hand goes inward. He also has another kind of bit. It's not so much for articulation, it's for transformation. But I'll show you in a minute. Yeah, uh, he could spin all the way around, which is great. He could do the Van Damme splits. You know, legs go all the way up and then some. <laughs> and if you lift the flap in the back, uh, again, equal range. Since they're robots, you know, um, and there's, there isn't much like, you know, kibble or extra stuff hanging off. Great range, you know, the knee goes to 90. He's got that kind of tilt, which is great with the ankle rocker. And his foot does go up for, well, it's not really tall articulations for transformation, but still works. And, uh, yeah, here's our, uh, little eject dude all transformed as well. Very, very simple to transform that dude. But, uh, again, I don't really show the transformations, um, uh, I will show you one, uh, there's another character that I picked up recently, uh, from the, uh, the Bumblebee movie line, uh, and it's right here, there's a updated version to our, uh, Ravage, um, character, and, uh, very, very cool looking, um, it is a different transformation, obviously it's not a cassette, uh, also in the movie too, uh, I think they showed him jumping out of his chest. But, um, yeah, that, this thing looks great the way they did it. So it's kind of like a compact, um, I don't know, little suitcase sort of thing. But uh, I dig it. Um, this looks 
way, way better than the, um, than the other little cassette that I showed you on the Soundwave review. And, uh, yeah, his, his transformation is pretty simple as well. Uh, but you got to get everything precise in order for him to fit perfectly into the chest cavity of uh, uh, Soundwave. And, uh, yeah, so, you know, you just got to click things properly. Um, he does have the guns that go on, on, the, uh, on the hind legs. But for transformation purposes, um, you actually got to take them off and put them on the tail in order to get them perfectly into uh, Soundwave's chest. So, uh, yeah, you just pop those off, put them back on there, um, you know, kind of unfold everything. Well, you guys know how Transformers work. But, uh, again, just kind of showing you a quick look at them. And this design is fantastic. And it kind of feels more accurate to the, uh, you know, to the G1 stuff. So, And he is bigger than the other one. Um, so, yeah, I, I definitely wanted to snatch this up. And I'm happy I did. There's only one in the store. And, uh, yeah, this thing is... Uh, very, very cool looking. And I'll show you a comparison too with the um, with the Earthrise version of Soundwave. Um, well, well, the Ravage that came with him rather. And yeah, and the jaw does go, uh, it opens and closes as well. So yeah, this thing is beautiful. I highly recommend it. If you see him, yeah, uh, go ahead and snatch him up. Uh, he will look great with your uh, Earthrise or Kingdom figures. So there you have that. And, uh, yeah, you kind of see the size comparison with him and Eject as well. So, yeah. Very, very cool looking stuff. There you have it. So, yeah. Um, again, very good. Very good find. And here's Blaster all transformed to his giant boombox kind of form. And, uh, yeah, this thing is super clean looking. Uh, like, look from the sides. I mean, there's nothing hanging off of it. Uh, well, aside from his gun, but you could just, yeah, there's a little peg. You don't have to put it there, but, um, there's an option if you like to store him that way. But, um, yeah, this thing is beautiful. Uh, transformation, um, there are some parts that are, it feels kind of tight and to kind of put it in. It's, it's not the smoothest, but, um, once it's all together, it does look amazing. So, yeah, because his hands kind of, the way that the legs fold up, um, his hands need some clearance. And because everything's so precise, it's a little tricky. But you got to, you finagle it and you can get it in just right. And, uh, yeah, uh, this thing is spectacular. So, uh, and, and again, uh, I do recommend this figure if you see him. Uh, here he is again uh, on the rotating base with the Bumblebee version of um, Soundwave. Uh, I kind of, I don't know, I like it. it. He's got a good look to him, that bulkiness. Uh, it, it works. So um, that, his transformation, though, I don't, I don't like on that figure. Some kind of weird ship that's like crotch forward. And, I don't know. But um, robot mode looks fantastic. And uh, again, with uh, that Ravage, uh, it's, it's a perfect combination. And Yeah, I, I think it looks really good. Um, I still prefer the Soundwave that I reviewed um, from the, it's the Walmart exclusive of the Earthrise one that, um, that comes with Laserbeak and, and, and Ravage, uh, very cool figure, again, big shout out to Tommy and the Guinea Pig Collective for hooking me up with that one, um, yeah, just beautiful stuff, and, uh, yeah, here he is, speaking of which, uh, with the Soundwave from, um, again, that line I just mentioned, so, yeah, they are, uh, again, just great companion pieces. And you can see the big difference, though, uh, the way the transformation is on Soundwave. Uh, it's not as, you know, um, smooth from the side because his arms are back there. Like, you know, he has extra kibble, but uh, it's fine, though. I, I think it still works good. Um, and, uh, yeah, uh, the two of these figures, they complement each other. So, uh, yeah, and I did get a comment in my last review on uh, on the Transformers one. They wanted to see Blaster. So, yeah, here are both figures. And, uh, yeah, let me know what you think. I hope you like them because uh, they were really cool and very fun to review. Um, oh, yeah, and by the way, there there you go. I wanted to show you guys, um, you know, the new Ravage, the one from the Bumblebee movie with um, this Soundwave and, uh, and Laserbeak. I think they look really good, but also uh, for size comparison too, if you wanted to see 
what uh, Blasto looks like, you know, in his uh, boombox mode next to um, Soundwave. And yes, I did put Eject inside of Soundwave's chest. Uh, they do fit. You could swap out um, and, you know, if you wanted to put any of the villains into Blaster's chest and vice versa, uh, it can be done. They are the same exact size. Um, but uh, the Ravage, obviously, uh, will not fit that one that you see there on the floor because it's uh, a completely different line. But uh, he does look amazing. So I hope you guys enjoy that. And here's a better look with the, the, the regular Ravage that came with Soundwave. Um, and uh, yeah, I think that's like night and day. <laughs> you know, it's cool that they did that. But yeah, the newer one uh, from the Bumblebee movie is way more accurate uh, to the G1 stuff. And like I said, it just now it looks really good. It looks complete. So I'll probably keep this guy all folded up in inside of Soundwave's chest and uh, keep the other one out. Just like, yeah, the size difference is... You know, very big as well. But, you know, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't yet. Uh, and yeah, like I said, you could drop any kind of comments, uh, you know, hopefully positive ones <laughs> regarding the figures. I always try to keep it about the figures when I'm doing these reviews. Um, not so much from where they're from. Um, but yeah, I, I do prefer that these things uh, do have the kind of g1 look so again uh 80s kid here so but yeah i hope you guys uh enjoy this like i said he was a bonus uh review in the middle of the blaster one uh because you know I, I pretty much got them the same day and uh yeah i thought they're pretty cool and uh yeah one more time if you wanted a better look at the boombox version uh i get i think this thing just looks really really cool you know, the sculpt work, the extra little details they put all over. That looks damn good. So, yeah. And I like the speakers, like, on the sides. Um, there's actually a, a flip-around mode when you're transforming them. So that was also very cool. So, yeah, wrapping up. Uh, this figure is awesome. I give him a thumbs up. Um, yeah, well, if you want to see more Transformers reviews, let me know. In the meantime, remember... Be kind to one another, but kick ass while you create. Hi, this is Vinny Tartamella, and uh, we have Through the Woods, hardcover book, written by Frankie Tartamella. Uh, all the artwork is done by me. It's a beautiful hardcover book. Take a look at this fantastic artwork. This is 98 pages, ghost story. Uh, I think everyone's going to love this thing. It's amazing. And... Uh, yeah, we have another fantastic project here, City of Venus. I wrote this one. I did all the artwork on it. Uh, another fantastic project. Uh, I'm going to be putting a link in the description to all the videos. And uh, yeah, so please check this one out. And uh, thank you very much. Both of these books are available right now and they ship immediately. So uh, yeah, take a look at the size difference as well. Uh, one's more in a European format, and the other one's like a standard comic book. And uh, we also have two uh, beautiful art books here, volume one and two. Uh, these are 52 pages each, and it just has just a whole bunch of different stuff in here from uh, your favorite characters, uh, pinups, um, yeah, pretty much everything, and the kitchen sink. So uh, yeah, these are also available, and they're on the City of Venus campaign.